Hello, this is Ryan Kerr on behalf of the Golding Institute. Fast food restaurants. We spend $80 billion yearly indulging our gastronomical whims at them. But until now, there has been no adequate documentation of the fascinating sonic landscapes contained within. In an unfortunate era, where the mating chirps of countless irrelevant birds or the incomprehensible chanting and banging of dirty savages from uncivilized hellholes is thoroughly over-documented with a kind of respect previously only afforded to the most important speeches of great world leaders, parts of our cultural heritage slip through the cracks, if you will. The Golding Institute is proud to bring you this recorded documentation, Sounds of the Fast Food Restaurants, Volume 1. Started in 1955 by Colonel Harlan Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or KFC as it's now known, is arguably the second largest fast food chain in the world. Their biggest strength is their uncanny ability to take the remote outback of Australia's Northern Territory, the exotic tropical paradise of Hilo, Hawaii, and the endless suburban sprawl of Orange County, California, and magically transform them all to the exact same place. <laughs> In 1993, four children died after eating Jack in the Box hamburgers contaminated with bacteria. Despite the short setback, the Jumbo Jack remains a fast food favorite with children and adults alike. When the Pepsi company purchased Taco Bell, they predicted correctly its huge potential for enormous profits. What they did not anticipate, however, was the fascinating cultural exchange that naturally took place as Americans coast to coast became fluent in ordering traditional Mexican dishes from across the border. Five soft tacos, nine tacos, the six Did you get those as a taco pack? The taco well, he said ten packs. And a four pack. And a Tomatoes, okay. and a medium drink, mm -hmm. and chips and salsa.
No secrets here. At Nations, all but the legally deaf enjoy the comforting sounds and smells of hamburger patties being fried up in plain view. Let's listen. Subway is one of the fastest growing chains around. With not a single hamburger inside at any of their nearly 10,000 locations, it's no wonder that our next field recording conjures up a markedly different ambiance. If your wife has stepped out for a spell, listen closely to this next field recording. What resembles the rhythmic sounds of sexual ecstasy is in fact nothing more than business as usual at another busy hot dog on a stick franchise. As popular for their lemonade as for their frankfurters, the highlight of your trip is sure to be the forbidden sight of scantily clad teenaged girls involuntarily working up an unnatural sweat as they straddle huge vats of lemons, water, and ice, pumping away for all they're worth with their patented plunger. From the ridiculous to the sublime, McDonald's. No further introduction is necessary for the American institution that practically wrote the book on turning low-cost, low-grade ingredients into high fives and huge smiles.
This next recording is unusual. It's done outdoors at a Burger King drive through window. As the population slowly becomes crazier and crazier, some folks find it easier and safer to place their order in the security of their own private vehicle. Hi, welcome to Burger King. Can I take your order, please? Yeah, can I get a large chocolate shake, please? Anything else? That's it. Your total will be $1.33. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Burger King. Can I take your order, please? Can I have a double waffle combo? Do you want cheese on it? Yes. What would you like to drink with that? Straw Hat Pizza is listed in the yellow pages under restaurants. Fact is, it should be listed under small cities, as it sometimes seems like one with its plenitude of activities, from television and pizza to video games and vending machines. Straw Hat Pizza is a most fascinating national resource. Let's conclude Volume 1 with a slice of life recording that best illustrates the magic these restaurants can bring to a child's world as they become the centerpieces of important life events.
joyous sounds of our round table pizza birthday party to the somber post cremation wake at wendy's hot and juicy hamburgers heard on volume two of this recording the sounds of fast food restaurants offer a rare glimpse into our collective unconsciousness for the golding institute this is ryan kerr